Sparky. Those are greens from the greenhouse. And I know you won't eat them. I've tried chopping them up in little pieces, tiny little pieces. I've given you big whole leaves. I've chopped them up like this. It doesn't matter. I know you're not going to eat them. But I thought you might want to sit on them. Because if you sit on them, it'll help to hydrate you because they're, they're moist. So what do you think, Sparky? You think you want to sit on them? Well, there they are in case you do. Guess what? Today is February the 1st, 2017. And we've only got about seven more weeks to go. And, and then it'll be spring. Hang in there, Sparky. Time to stretch out that leg, isn't it, Sparky? Is it time to stretch out that leg? Today is February 4th, and I want to touch on this important issue um, about a turtle in the wintertime. Uh, Sparky, he was horribly slumped over yesterday, and I had these two heaters um, going right here, the two emitters, but this morning he was still all slumped over and uh, just, just looking really peaked. So uh, I took, and I don't usually have this 100 watt this is a spotlight. This is a 100 watt spotlight which directs the heat right down in one spot. So I put a rag over this um, spider plant so that the uh, leaves won't be up too close. So anyhow, in no time flat, it heated up that corner and it brought Sparky out. And he looks perky again. His head is raised up. There's got to be enough warmth. And see, with this large terrarium, um, it can get cold. And I have to use more heat than someone else with a smaller terrarium. Because with a small terrarium, you just uh, using a 100 watt is really chancy. Um, because you can overheat it. Uh, so you have to really... You know, you could put it on a timer and uh, have it on for a while and then turn it off. So they'd have a basking area of, you know, have it for an hour or two and then turn it off. Some turtlers say they do that. But with a small space, it's very easy to overheat and uh, make them really miserable. So you have to really be careful about that. So I'm just grateful Sparky is uh, perked up now. And he's really got a lot of warmth. I've really toasted him up in this section. So, um, see, then I can turn this off after a while. I'll probably leave it on about an hour and turn it off and see how he does. And see how he, he is moving underneath his chin there. Uh, it's kind of like a panting thing, I think, is, is what they do when they get really warm and toasty. So I'll have to use the plant tester um, gauge to um, see the temperature and see what it is in this corner because I don't want it to get overheat. Go ahead. So let's see. How about if I shoot that temp gun right there? Hmm. It's only 76.9. Sheesh. And you're panting. 76.9. That's sure not over warm now, is it? Hmm? What are you going to do? Come out and see me? So the point is, it's warm enough for you to hold your head up. So I expect that's good enough for right now. What do you think? Because it's only a little after 8 this morning. So 
So I'm just going to let you be. Let it gradually warm up a little bit on this side. Say 85. Toast you up. Got a rock here. Got an emitter over this nice big rock. So if you want to toast that more, I'm going to get the rocks nice and warm for you. But not too warm. How about 85 to 90 on the rock? Is that good enough? Will that toast you up enough? I just let you make the decision. He's exhausted. That's it, guys. <laughs>